President Buhari is angry. Successionist insurgents and bandits are in trouble, Femi Additional says. Special advisor to the president on media and publicity. Femi Additional penned an article on his official Facebook page on how to on how Mahmoud Buhari is speaking to successionists, insurgents, bandits, and all criminals in the language they understand. First comment. I listen, we can never get over how can you be a special advisor to the president on media and publicity when you have Loretta Onoche as aide or a special advisor or aide to the president on social media. Like they're literally trying to make every position that they can. Soon there's gonna be a special advisor to drinking water for Buhari. Like literally. Hmm. He pointed out that after several warnings to those that are trying to divide the country, President Buhari is now angry and has started clamping down and dealing with them in full force. Well, in his post, he says, um, speaking to PDP in the language it understands by Femi Additional, this is, there's this recent cartoon in Daily Trust newspaper that sends me holding my sides in laughter each time I see it, and I tell you that I viewed it over and over again. Two bandits are in flight, really showing a clean pair of heels. This item kicks you... This item kicks you into the cartoon. Oh, wow. Also, the car- it's like a political... Well, yeah. A political cartoon. Political picture. Um, where it says, Scores as troops, vigilantes, ambush Kebi students, kidnappers. I think this is the language that the president is talking about. And then someone else says, I think the... I think these are just the alphabet. Oh. <laughs> or All right. Um... Yes, and then the bandits are running. That's what the picture shows. Yeah, but then doesn't doesn't really do anything, does it? Like it doesn't really say I don't know why he's reacting to this in such a way because it's like you think Nigerians care how the president feels. Like I'm I'm I don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but it's like with what Nigerians go through on a daily basis, please we cannot be reserving and using our precious energy to worry about what we need and demand of him to do is to fix the problem of insecurity because it seems like it's like selective what do you call it selective anger how do you say it selective um what because it says the, the president is angry but he seems to be angry at secessionists only but not at insurgents and bandits and Boko Haram. He literally, his government is backing up people like Sheikh Gumi that negotiate with bandits. Imagine a government that is meant to assert power is associated with the word negotiation. With who? Criminals. How do you negotiate with criminals? Because when you negotiate, it suggests that on both sides there is power. There shouldn't be power on, uh, there should not be power on the side of the criminals. Absolutely not. It is the government that is meant to exert and assert that power. So again, I'm not like President Barry is angry that um why is your anger only why is your anger targeted towards the violation of human rights? Because again, secessionism and you know pl- planning to you know um divide from the country or have a separate state is a human right. Like you are you are allowed to do that. And let's not because again they don't want us to start giving interpretations because we can. Because you holding people... I've said, I've said it again. I've said it and I've said it. I'm going to say it again. You holding people against their will. Somebody says they want to go. You said you can't. And then you use military intimidation to keep them silent. Do you... Is Nigeria okay? Like, I, is Nigeria actually okay? Because I... I I really don't think so. Because again, it's like they've proven with the abduction of Inamdi Kano that they do have the resources and all that it takes to pull the strings together to stop all this, all this issue of insecurity. And so now Femi Additional is making it seem like as if, oh, we need to be careful or else Buhari is going to start. You know, he's going to, he's not going to take it easy. Stop hyping the man up, let the man do his job. But the thing is, what Nigerians will not accept is selective anger and selective proactivism. How are you just only 
using force and exerting power on those that do not agree with your government. Yeah? Silence. Silence in the courthouse. It's silent. It is silent. Because it's like, why? Why? Because it is. this is your boss. This is the same boss that you called a bully. Are you, are you, is, is he even okay? Like, is Femi Additional actually in safe hands? Because you call your president a bully who's going to whip Nigerians into line and that he has dictatorial tendencies. But then, is that really shocking though? Because again, I've said it before, at the prime of, you know, Buhari's career, he was leading the country when we had a military regime. So, being the old man that he is, freeing and, you know, slowly deteriorating, how do we expect that he would become a democratic president all of a sudden? Especially someone who has been desperate to enter into power and lost elections like... Like, it was literally embarrassing. But yeah, why? Why Why are we taking... Why are we... Oh, so sad. Let's look at the comment section. Somebody here says, Agitation for succession was as a result of Buhari's nepotism and promotion of crimes committed by Fulanis. He should leave successionists alone... And face bandits, insurgents, and kidnapping. More so, withdraw his support for criminals. Once this is done, successionists will withdraw. Additional, additional, additional. Be careful. Watch your tongue. That is very true. Um, I think for Igbos, mm, I'm not sure about that. I think, again, there was literally a whole war because they wanted to leave. Okay, I don't think the agitation is going to stop for them. But for the Yorubas joining, it's definitely as a result of the current circumstance of the country at hand right now. Um... Again, the con the president, and it's so it's so sad because with the with the level of nepotism and all that, the south the north is not really in a better position than the south. You'd expect if there's actual bias, and you know, as pro Fulani as you know, um, the president claims to be, the north is going through the worst in terms of insecurity. Well, for the long for the longest time, um, even before Buhari, like a lot, the 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 presidency was basically in the north in the north basically. Um, and so it's like, why, 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 why all this? Because it's like your people are facing, their living standard is poor. They're facing security every day. Your people are used, like, I genuinely believe that the Northerners are actually used to living in an insecure place. Like just living in insecurity with, you know what, potentially anything can happen and they just move with it. Do you know how scary that is? That is so sad. So again... Femi additional again, I, he's not a reliable source, but again, because he's close to the president, it is we can use him as a representative of Buhari in the sense that their mentality would be the same. Him saying Buhari is angry, Nigerians, frankly, do not care. He needs to do his job. And Nigerians, in fact, are angry. I mean, he has there's room for Buhari to be angry. He has you think he thinks he's allowed to be angry. Listen, do your job. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.